All right, so hi everyone. We are commentating this match between Jay Tre Trepiano and CSP and CSCH CPSCH2 uh, for Medium Games. I'm joined today by S Sounder. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. And this and is, this yeah, is game, yeah, game two now. now. Uh, Jay, uh, Jay Trepiano took, took the, the first game. First game. Um, um, so we've got, we've got, got quite, quite the interesting, the interesting board, board here, here for game, for game two, two Rosie. Rosie. Yeah, this is like they have enough. So they, this is an owl board. So I think the, like the owl animal fair would be, would definite is definitely something you would want to go for if you can like spin enough. That's like that's that's like some a combo that kind of strikes my attention and you can also use if you use wandering mistral as your village then that can especially help you um that's kind of the combo that i like yeah there's yeah, definitely i mean you got two really good villages here with minstrel and blessed village um yeah and then, then the draw isn't isn't, 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 isn't Great right here, right here in and of itself. itself. I mean, you've got Destriers, um, nothing, nothing else, else that's really going to really increase your hand size. size. So I, I do I suspect that that, that, that way of layout will be a thing here. Thing here. Um, you get you, you do, do have also warehouse, which, which kind of has, which kind has a nice synergy, synergy with way of the way of the owl. That warehouse decreases your hand size. So if you get a village in play and then play a warehouse. Um, and then you owl another, another action, action card, card that's going to draw you. Would that be would that three, three cards, cards, I guess? I guess. So that's, so that's, that's some pretty, pretty effective, effective draw. draw. Yeah, um, that's the, 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 the warehouse to help. Um, um, just with some sifting with your deck, deck which, which I think, I think given, given the, the early early stages, stages is, is going to be real effective. There is good trash in the goat herd. The trader is not great. Forge is very card, but pretty expensive. Yeah, and goat herd like it's great. It's just kind of slow. So being able to like go go like use warehouse means that like you probably still want to do some trashing, but it means like you can start putting together an engine without having like trashed out all your junk because it's gonna take a while to get to that point. Yeah, yeah, it, it certainly, it certainly will. will. Both players, Both players do, pick do pick up goat herd on the mill, so. so... CP's CP benefiting, benefiting from, from JT's, JT's trash here that, that they need they to draw, draw a card. card. Um, yeah, which, which, uh, uh, there's there's stockpile, stockpile, which is, which is um, helps them hit five, five here. here. Yeah, I'm not sure, that sure that five's really, five's really a great, a great number, number to hit on this board. Rogue is, is, is not a card, card I would, especially early, it's not a card I would. I guess once you have that control. You got plenty, you got plenty of, of village support, support. It might, it might be something to pick up later, later, but I certainly don't, don't want to don't want to, don't want to get, get it at this, at this point. point. Yeah, I think, and I feel like once you have like an empty pile, like Animal Fair is just so much better. Um, sure. sure. Yeah. Yep. I guess the one thing I didn't notice here is I still think the goat herd for the right option is Forge because they could use that to in pretty efficiently. And then when, on turns when you play Forge, you get to draw a bunch of cards with Al if you have the terminal support. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, going to take, take a while to get there. Get there. You'd, you'd have to play a village, play a village first. first. Ideally, Ideally, two villages. So that so that you, when you play you the play Forge, you trash your hand, hand, and then you'd need to have another action card in the end that you let Al and you'd want to still have actions at that point. Offer Destrier, maybe? I don't think you want to take more coffers on this board. There just isn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah agree. I agree. I, I, I mean, mean Destro is definitely, definitely a better card, card for your deck than Rogue, Rogue at this point, point, but I don't, I don't think, think I want to add, add a copper to get there. there. Yeah. Um, um, JT, JT does hit six and gets the Destrier. Yeah, Destrier seems good. Um, I guess the players, they're not really going for any kind of like one fair thing. So I think right now they're, but I think right now it's fine that they're like using stockpile for payload. Uh, that That is certainly probably better than an animal fair thing early on. 
especially when an animal fair doesn't give plus fives. So I think what they're doing here seems fine. Of course. Yeah, yeah for sure. sure. Stockpile's Stockpile a great, great card, card, especially early. early. I mean, getting, getting good plus five, five and then jolt of the con you in your deck. I mean, I would expect that would be the first pile to go. And, and, yeah, but a little surprised there's only been three of them picked up so far. Yeah, and I feel like CP, I feel like, was kind of in a better position from the beginning by pick by opening stockpile goat herd instead of warehouse goat herd. Um, early on, like the stockpile is just more valuable than the warehouse. I guess that's that is arguable, but I that's my opinion. Yeah, the stock stock is definitely, definitely nice. nice. It'll, It'll help you get higher price, price points, points and, and give you the plus buy, so you can potentially pick up two cards. cards. The warehouse, the warehouse definitely, definitely has value. value. It allows you to sit through your deck, deck play your good herd more, more often, and, and get thinner. But, but uh, yeah, yeah, I certainly, certainly want, want, want to, to, to keep clicking on stockpile. You certainly don't want to be leaving any in in the shuffle or leaving any in exile. We're going into the shuffle as well. Yeah, for sure. I'm a little bit surprised. Uh, so both players seem to be just trying to trying to hit Destrier, relying on Destrier for draw. I, I just I I don't know. I think I think picking up a few villages and yeah. then an owling. Yeah, um, I don't like that. I think yeah, I think what you do is you just go for like you take a bunch of wandering mistrules as your as your draw, and then once the stockpile is empty, you start putting some animal fares in there for payload. That seems best to me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the minstrel is great because it sifts through your through your coppers. I guess the, the downside is it's also gonna it's also gonna discard your your stockpiles. But uh, yeah. also we do have our first, first village buy here on turn nine from. JT. Um, yeah, I guess that, yeah, that is definitely a reason to go for Blessed Village. I guess it really just depends on, like, Blessed Village is kind of good early on, but, like, Mistral is more helpful long term. So it's really just a balance. Um, but yeah, at the, at the beginning, they could probably just go with Blessed. Yeah, of course, Blessed, you're really. It really depends on what boon you get. It can be great if you get a, a real helpful boon, but um, not as much otherwise. But yeah, they are both going for the minstrels now. Um, I don't know. I mean, given that they both have a couple of destriers in their deck, um, it's going to be much harder to effectively use Way of the Owl. Um, I expected, like I said, I expected maybe, especially with JT opening Warehouse, that they might, might be trying to do some out of X stuff with, with way of the owl, but uh, it looks like they've gone a different different direction. Yeah, I think yeah, just like doing missions. I guess you do in order to do owl early on, you need like some type of virtual money, uh, and like animal fair is always like the best money, but it does have the downside early on of giving you all this money but no buys. But you can still get your buys from stockpile, and now, yeah, yeah. and now that the stockpiles yeah, are, like, like, go ahead. you you can go. I was gonna say yeah, I think that was a good point you made earlier with that. That it's it's really stock until stockpiles run out, you're just clicking on stockpile, and then and then right around this stage of the game is where you start to transition and think about picking up animal fare. Yeah, that's that was gonna say like. Yeah, just click, I'd say now they can just start clicking on Animal Fair. Maybe, like, I wouldn't even be opposed to, like, trash it, trashing some of those Destriers into Animal Fair. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if it would be the Destriers, but um, certainly, um, like with JT, since they're not going for the draw to X stuff, as their deck is getting thinner. Uh, they could turn the warehouse into an animal fair as, as the warehouse the utility for that is starting to decrease pretty significantly yeah they could definitely try to do that and like also like once they're both like thin uh 
Like, and neither player is trashing many cards. All the goat herd will really do is get in the way. So then they can also trash those. Um, although I do like, I guess here for JT, is this just an animal fair minstrel? Or, or maybe even double animal fair? I'm not sure. I don't know. I always, I always hate to pay the full seven cost of animal fair when you can trash a card like Warehouse that has served its purpose. Uh, they are playing all their stockpiles, which I think is good. Um, they are getting they are getting one animal fair. So they okay. take okay, yeah. So they take some destriers. Yeah. yeah, that seems good. Um, it does. Given the way they're building their deck, I like those buys. I think I think one animal fair is sufficient for now. You don't need you want to still have that consistency of being able to draw a deck, and if you have too many animal fairs, that can prevent that. Um, they can certainly handle the copper now. And then given that they're building their or draw through Desperate as opposed to Owl. I think I like that. I think those are good buys. Yeah, those definitely seem like good buys to me. Um. Yeah, well, CP is going to have a little bit of little bit of difficulty here, given they decided last turn they decided to just buy the last three stockpiles in an effort to deny JT. Um, be more stockpiles, but that's they kind of get in the way of them being able to draw a deck here. Um, I guess they are drawing two off these goat herds, so that's nice. Yeah, the drawing. Why did they? I didn't notice they got four goat herds. Yeah, I think. There you go. Yeah, the, the goat herds they'll definitely be helpful later on. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if they tried to like trash some of those to animal fair because they need something to replace the payload with as they return the stockpiles. Um, yeah, that's true. And while these goat herds were great on this turn, well, they're basically laboratories. They're, each of them were drawing two cards. They, I, the JT's trashed down a bit and has control of their deck. I suspect they will not be trashing nearly as much going forward. So those goat herds are going to be a lot less useful. CP. Yeah, although for now, like, like JT like took a copper to make the gestures cheaper, which I think was a good move, but it will, it'll give them some stuff that they want to trash from their deck. Sure. But I don't think, I, like, well, it will give them some, I guess it probably, it won't be enough likely to make the goat herds worth it. Like I don't think like they'll be trashing like two cards a turn. Cause like last turn they only bought like one copper. And when you can you buy destriers to make the destriers cheaper. Yeah, so they trash a rogue into animal fair. Not totally sure how I feel about that. Uh, I'd I'd rather have tr I get trashed a goat herd, but of course I guess they did want to use the goat herd for draw, uh, and they pick up the cool. last four destriers. So yeah, that's, that is real nice to yeah. I, I mean, at this stage of the game is where I, I start to feel like the rogue is <laughs> a good a good card to have in your deck. So yeah, I'm not not real thrilled about trashing it, but well, certainly animal fairs are, are looking real attractive now. Yeah, and um, animal fairs, like, the aspect of being immune to rogue attacks is no longer there, but, like, they are, but, like, once they start putting animal fairs into their deck, I can't see how, like, the rogues are getting less useful, but, like, the rogues still have lots to trash. And, uh, I guess, I mean, piles are obviously really low. We got four goat herds left. I guess JT doesn't have the economy or buys to pile out this turn, but um, guess, yeah, yeah, because animal yeah. fair, so they got three buys. Yeah, and, one uh, buy short, and I don't think they have enough money. So yeah, I like no. here. I guess what you do is you just trash those all those actions. And get some animal fairs because they can draw, or I don't know, maybe you take a province and then trash your goat herds. 
I'm not totally sure. Yeah, let's see. So CP has enough buys now. What did they gain? Two animal fairs last turn. Yeah, they is took. That all the yeah, they took. Yeah, they have two animal fairs. I guess they no longer have a rogue. Uh, so yeah, I think. And they also they yeah they've both used up all their stockpiles. So yeah, so I think for JT, I'm liking the province double animal fair. Trash yeah, I think so. I think I think I would trash a warehouse. Well, maybe you keep the warehouse around just for consistency, but yeah, certainly trash one of the goat herds into an animal fair. Um, I think even though CP cannot uh, pile out next turn, I, I think still adding a province at this point is good. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I think because CP like does have. I guess they don't quite have the money. But they have they have the uh, the buys and can probably so I could see a pile out happening in a couple turns. Yeah, and let's see, did they trash? Yeah, they trash both of their goat herds. So then I guess JT's given up on the idea of getting rid of the rest of these coppers. Yeah, I think I like to keep. Yeah, I think you could have probably kept one of those cop goat herds around, but. Like one goat herd is pretty slow trashing, and it does help your opponent with some draw. Although their opponent is consistently drawing deck anyway. Um, yeah, at this point for sure. So they're kind of got the same, same uh, decisions here for CP. You certainly pick up province here, and then yeah, I'd say province, and then you can probably. I guess I don't really. No, I was just gonna say like I realized if you I don't love you can't really trash that because now you're just lowering the piles for JT because um, you can only get a total of one province this turn. Um, yeah, the other problem they have, which they're addressing by picking up the blessed village, is and that's. One of those boons that just doesn't help you at this point so that's kind of unfortunate but yeah they, just, they don't have the village support to play more than two animal fairs so by getting two blessed villages you know that boon also well i guess they can put that one aside for next turn yeah but um, they, but they don't play you well yeah i think jt they probably I and mean, they have the economy to get two buys easily and i think they have enough extra actions that yeah this is like if they play this turn right they i think they have a win in hand looks like it yeah that, that was the challenge of, of taking that line that cp did there i mean they they just couldn't they didn't have the village support to add any more animal fairs but by not scoring no. uh, they just gave yeah i guess JT the win. not quite i think jt did not see the win Oh no, that nope, they, they did goat herd, so yeah, but still, I like, I guess even if they province, whoop, did you get kicked out here? Yeah, I got kicked out. Right. Yeah, I guess even if they province there, they had enough, um, they had an, they had an extra buy to go ahead and buy an estate as well, so maybe there was really no way to protect against that. Okay, looks like the players did not get kicked out, so that's a good part. Okay, so that was game two. Um, so I think that's uh, 2 0 to JT going into game number three. Yeah, so looks like this board, they have lots of draw here, but not like quite the villages. Like they could, like with catacombs and torture, I, especially because with rats as the only trasher, like torture is really going to hurt here. Um, and if they can like, I guess your best village is like a conclave and throne room. Um, so. So they'd be stuck with something like playing a bunch of room rooms. Is 
grasp the only I don't even think you can really use throne room as a village here because is rats the only card that gives you yeah the way you option? yeah the way you, you do it don't want rats here if they're just going to overrun your deck and you have no way of getting rid of them yeah the way you'd use throne room i think is to you is you just play two throne rooms and then you can just play another card twice but that requires mm -hmm. having yeah. them both in your hand oh yeah J jck also brings up the uh changeling um which is a way to so you could you could potentially play rats here and then you add another rats to your deck, you just trade it in for a changeling. Oh yeah, that is certainly something you could do. Yeah, I didn't see that initially. Then yeah, as you mentioned, of course, Conclave is a village also, although it's not the best village. It can be difficult to line up and make work, but given your limited options on this board, you're certainly gonna want to add add some conclaves to your deck. Yeah. And like now that and like if you can find stuff to feed it, which I think you and I think you'd want to with the changeling around, I think you want to feed the rats anyway, given that it's your only trasher. So using rats as your own room as your village can definitely be worth it. How can you rat the rat rat the rat? <laughs> I think that's a joke. I don't think you want to be adding more rats to your deck without um, you can get changelings that way, but certainly if you have rats in your deck, you're going to want to play them to thin out your coppers and estates. Yeah. So, let's see, is this going to be their torture? Yeah. So now they both get a torture into their shuffle, so we'll be seeing some of that going, some of those attacks going on, especially once you're trashed. They're just going to, it's just going to hurt so much. Um, although the one thing that surprised me is like with the changing rats, I am surprised that neither of them have gone through rats. Rats? Yeah, maybe they're not seeing the, because I, I certainly missed that initially, the changeling rats interaction. Um, yeah, I don't. Maybe something that they're just not seeing. I'm confused. Rats does not say you may. I think it's. I think he's referring to way of the rat. Oh yeah, that. That's a bit. Different. Yeah, that it's very. Oh yes, you can rat with rats. Yeah, I got very confused. I like don't really always notice ways. I mean, you can also like here. Um, this should be banishing three estates here for CP. Um, this is a great, great banish opportunity. Yeah, banish. Um, especially since we're not doing rats. I mean, this is a no-brainer to do. You gotta, you gotta banish these three estates. Yeah, so that's what they do, um, which I like. So it looks like JT still has one estate in their deck because they banished two. So CP has a. Slightly thinner deck. We'll see how that turns out. Um, yeah, so here they have five and two buys plus a copper. Yeah. Um, um, and they, I mean, this would also, they could, they could potentially banish a couple coppers here if they wanted to. You'd only be banishing like two coppers, so yeah, well, probably not worth it. Um, yeah, could go like throne room, but then it would have to line up. Yeah, the torture also seems reasonable here. Oh, uh, this is a nice, yeah, nice drop for both of them, starting with the conclave torture. Yeah, that was like un a bit unlucky for JT because they had to trigger the shuffle on torture. But I blame the shuffler for that. Uh, is this maybe another pun? I guess if they've already got rare rooms and torturers in that, maybe they want to add. I think maybe. You may just want to add another catacombs at some point, just as a different card to hit with Conclave to, to get the village effect. Yeah, you can do that. You can also, like, 
Yeah, they take conclave. That seems reasonable to me. Get it. It is some nice draw. Analysis. So, so CP is able to draw their deck minus those two coppers that they discarded, which is nice. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what they're thinking about here, but you, you definitely want to play this other torture for the attack. Yeah. Um, and what do they have down there? A duck it? Yeah, a duck and a silver and a silver. copper. Yeah, so then, yeah. Cause, so I guess here you have, you have potential that you have either eight or ten, eight to ten coins. I guess you go like the bone room. Setting up for the banish, maybe Catacombs? Here. I'm not sure. You could also... Banishing four coppers also doesn't seem like a bad idea, although I might want to get even more payload first. Yeah. Okay, so CP is able to line up the double throne rooms, which is great for them. That must be another nice hand for them. I guess they could just keep their deck simple. Um, these throne rooms and torturers um yeah because if they yes, like yes. yeah because i guess this will really just all depend on the shuffle and what happens in it yeah like here well yeah because now like if they they thrown the conclave and don't really have much so i guess i suppose like they'll just be Oh wait, they get to play it again. I forgot about that. So yeah, the other throne room. Yeah, um, so, so I guess can, they can't. They do have to choose between these two cards which one they want to play it on. And yeah. They can't conclave a torturer since there's already a torturer in play. Yeah, so they choose the torturer. That seems reasonable to me. So is JT just gonna? Because this is not it. They're just gonna take another curse, or or maybe you just. Yeah, they take another curse. That seems reasonable. Like, JT had a good hand. And they're all getting ruined by torture. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a clear torture play there. Because now you got a clean shuffle. You get the silver and the copper into your deck. Um, yeah, it's tempting to banish here. Because they've been, they've been fortunate with their shuffles. Always have these torturers and either a conclave or, or throne room with it. But... Yeah, I think this could be, it could be like a throne room catacombs, um, just because catacombs is nice for the action. So they take a conclave there. Not quite, yeah, I would have gone, I liked the throne room catacombs more here. Yeah, I don't think they need another duck. I mean, the, the one duck that they have is great. Having that plus buy that JT doesn't have is, is huge, but... Yeah, um, and maybe this is just me, but I think it turned out not to matter, but I think that was a bit of bad play order there from JT. It's usually better to play the catacombs first, so you have a higher chance of getting the cards you want it to, to have in your hand. Sure, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you probably put that into your hand. Uh, yeah, what else do they have down there? Do they have... They don't have another torturer, right? Um, I mean, the only reason maybe to, to not put this in your hand is, is it's going to give you a, cl a cleaner shuffle. Yeah, I um, think that's really like the only list. reason not to. Because uh, what is that? Like, it's... Because that's, like, four money in, the, in, the, in that hand. Um, I think I do like discarding that for the cleaner shuffle. Yeah, that's what they do. Uh, you unfortunately cannot conclave a conclave, but that doesn't even matter here, really. Um, We're going to rat it the second, the second play of it off the throw room. Yeah. So... Only one buy is tough. Are they just going to banish three curses? 
four coppers instead of three curses. Interesting. Yeah, I think I liked the curses more there. Like, the curses, they're worse for their deck. So, yeah. So, CP can just rat at. So, I think I'm liking JT's deck more again. Yeah, I don't know. They've got quite a few curses in there. Um, obviously, an unfortunate turn. They use two coppers to banish those two curses. So, okay, so they know they're going to have. Oof, they throw the event torture. You got to take the curse first, and then as a bad order, they should have yeah. taken the curse first and then discard it to you. Yeah, when you know you're. Yeah, that is definitely something that could have been worth doing. It's a common mistake, but one, but definitely one. So we'll see what happens. So I guess for JT, I kind of want just another prone room. Um, okay. Take advantage of the rat. I don't know that they need that many conclaves in their deck, but maybe yeah. it'll work out. I, but I mean, like the payload, it, it's not like the payload would have been any more helpful to them. Um, so yeah, I guess the Merchant Guild did make sense there. Uh, so here, yeah, you get to a throne room with a throne. I guess it doesn't actually. I guess you throne room. Yeah, just a conclave at this point. I did like throne rooming the throne room and then and then the conclave, just because then you could have, because I an extra. I'm not. Sh I think you might have wanted to rat the the conclave there. I'm not sure. Not yeah, I think you could have. Uh, I think the conclave is a lot more beneficial. Well, they got two. They could use. Yeah, or ratting the throne room, like, the second time you play it could also have been beneficial there. Yeah, I think CP could benefit from a, a Catacombs or a Merchant Guild, something diff a different target for their Conclave as well. Yeah, I'd say... Um, it's going to be tempting to banish some Copper here as well. Yeah, I'd say going double... I'd, yeah, maybe... Yeah, Catacombs banish, I think. Yeah, so they exile those coppers and take a merchant guild. Yeah, that that's fine. I think I prefer the catacombs here for consistency, but the merchant guild is also fine. Yeah, I mean here you'd obviously rather be drawing. Um, yeah, but like given that they they have the ducats for their buys, I don't think you act unless you're like you want the. And I don't think you need the coffers that badly, so I would have preferred the catacombs. For now, two yep. buys a turn. So no. uh, what is the they're undoing their discard? Yeah, I'm but they wanna like if they wanna gain the curse. Oh uh, yeah, they want I'm not Um, I don't know if I like that. I think I'd rather discard there. Then you can get well. I don't know. Yeah, because now you're. I you really want your. You usually want your opponent to be the one to take the last curse. Um, of course, now the curses are gone, so torture is just a draw here. Uh, I guess they're thinking. I guess they're th thinking they want to probably want to buy a catacombs this turn, and they this turn, and they can't do it. By discarding the gotcha. copper. Yeah, that does seem reasonable to me. Boy likes buying rats. Yeah, I, I no, no reason you can't, especially as as JT with a lot of curses in your deck. I think they can certainly certainly benefit from the rats in their deck at this point. Um, yeah. And then as they start adding too many, we talked about the changeling. Yeah, I think especially for JT, rats, that makes a lot of sense. The challenge that for JT, too, is they still have not picked up, well, they did pick up a Merchant Guild, didn't they? Okay. Yeah, they each have a Merchant Guild. 
Um, I haven't picked up Plus Buy yet, but they did get a Merchant Guild, so um, yeah. that's another big need. I mean, they could certainly use a Ducket as well, but yeah, a Ducket. Yeah, then yeah, I'd say JT can just take a rat that seems like the best option yeah yeah and as iris says there's always banish i mean you still get the minus points from curses but the much bigger issue is just getting them out of your deck so yeah. banish is certainly another option it, yeah because yeah banish it's like yeah because it's like Banish is like better in the short term, but rats is better long term. But I think in this case, you probably want to just focus on short term. Yeah, you cannot trash rats here. You can turn them into changelings, though, if they replicate. Yeah. And then I guess, yeah, and you could certainly banish. <laughs> Once you're drawing deck, you could banish whichever ones remain in your deck as well. Yeah, ban it. Yeah. Province here, interesting. Um, yeah, it seems I really like that. Yeah, I feel, I feel like there's a lot more to do here yeah. in terms of building and cleaning up your deck. You wanna, yeah, you want to, I think you need to build a bit more first. Of course, like if they go for like rat changeling, then piles are going to empty pretty quickly. <laughs> Um, GT follows with the problems, which I mean, I mean, I think their deck's a little bit better able to handle. Yeah. But again, I don't know. I think I want to build a little bit more. Yeah, and like sometimes it is hard to like not take province when your opponent does, given that in general, like greening and then building is bad. Yeah, yeah, like here, JT's got a really. Yeah, JT. Yeah, but they can't draw. Um, yeah. I guess they're going to maybe be able to add a catacombs to their deck. Yeah, I'd say like Conclave the Throne Room, throw in the Merchant Guild, and then take a catacombs. Seems fine to me. Yeah, I think you're, I guess for economy-wise, you're better off throwing the Conclave because the Merchant Guild has the below, the, the Coffer's benefit. Yeah. Okay. doesn't get affected by the floor room. Oh, yeah, no that is true. You, yeah, I forgot about that part, how it's not affected. So then I guess it really doesn't actually matter. It's not like you really want to, since you're only getting a, a Catacombs anyway. Right, yeah, I guess whether they hit five or six, sure. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, uh, like yeah, you have, yeah, you have, yeah, because Catacombs and Torture, it's like, they're both, of, well, I guess the Catacombs is just an extra good smithy, so that's great. Sure, they could also, yeah, they can rat here. Yeah, ratting is also but... fine. We'll see. So yeah, they take a catacombs. That seems like a reasonable option. Uh, yeah, yeah. So just the catacombs is fine. Yeah, because JT. Oh, uh, for JT. <laughs> yeah, JT just isn't that consistent. So yeah, they. So yeah, thrown the throne room. I think you just thrown the. The, the merchant guild. That's good. And that that was. Torture to draw a deck here? Yeah, I wanted to throw in the throne room there before the merchant guild. Because then you could have thrown both the merchant guild and the throne room. Um and wouldn't have and I don't think you would have drawn dead there. Oh wait, I guess you were conclaving the merchant guild. Yeah, never mind. But yeah. even there you could have been a little confusing with these when you throw in a throne and you're playing conclaves and <laughs> keeping track of yeah. Where you're at in the, in the play sequence. Yeah, yeah. Great, great turn for CT, for sure. Yeah, it could have been slightly better if they had like played that throne room before Conclave. Um, but that's, but it was still pretty good. Um, 
a two coin difference. Yeah, it is tempting to. It's tempting to banish these last two curses just to get them out of your deck. Yeah. Um, Merchant Guild, yeah, I agree. I think you can go with Duckett as your trasher. Of course, one Merchant Guild seems fine, mostly for for Conclave purposes, but after. And neither of them have more than one. So yeah, they banish and then they take a catacombs. Seems catacombs. fine, although they should have done that before they started greening. They both kind of both picked up the province and realized that they needed to build a bit more. Yep. So boy, JT's uh, got all their draw cards buried, I guess, in their back here. This would be three straight turns without really drawing or cp has a sad hand here too uh that was they could have hit five there but that that they aren't oh why yeah. didn't they throw in the yeah i'm not sure there? okay they undo yeah i think oh, they, they were thinking about it. it maybe they probably realized their mistake from the conclave and the Rantus brethren oh, no i guess not Oh, no, you can't because you already have a throne room in play. Never mind. Well, you could have coffee. you could have thrown to the throne room and then and then played the rat and then thrown to the right. throne. But yeah, they take. Yeah, they probably and those, um, and here. Yeah, they're gonna draw dead here with. But at least, like with catacombs, right. they can just hope that. I guess they don't have much in the way of. Yeah, this was an unlucky draw. Um, you just gotta put that in your hands. So you don't trigger a bad shuffle. Yeah, yeah, don't trigger that shuffle. Yeah, these last two shuffles for both players have been kind of rough. I guess it's, it's to be expected on a board like this. It's. Not easy to line up the cards in the right order. Another conclave, okay. I like that. And yeah, I, use another one. I think I agree. Like that rat in the catacombs has been better. Yeah, you just got to discard and get a clean shuffle. Yeah, so I think here just a duck at. Yeah, I don't think it's worth spending a coffer to trash a coffer here, though. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Oh, boy, yeah. another sad shuffle for both. <laughs> yeah, I would have thought... I guess CP for at least province here if they want to, which I assume they do. Yeah, they do. I'm sure. Uh, this will yeah, be having all the fun plates together is really rough. Yeah, JT can't afford... Oh, wait, yeah, I didn't even notice the way they did that. They, I was... Yeah, I would point is at this stage of the game, I don't I don't even think you want necessarily want that docket. I don't know what it's doing for you. Yeah, that is fair. Yeah, it's getting you the coffers, but yeah, it that's true. Um so I didn't follow this exactly, but I'm not sure what those four cards are, but that didn't I don't know that they wanted to trigger a shuffle there. Yeah. I would have taken kind of fast. So I'm not sure what they left on top there, but I think I just pass here. Just bank the coppers and pass. Yeah, I think Yeah, banish is an option too. Yeah, banishing it's not bad. Um and here this is better, depending on what they draw off the torture. Um, and for JT, I think you just put those Although if you put them in hand, then you are, because now you're going to be either drawing dead or just not getting anything from the fortune teller. Yeah, I think, yeah, they're rethinking that. I think they want to try to find their torturer, probably. Yeah. 
Well, yeah. that didn't work out very well. Yeah, I mean, do you just, like, play the merchant guild and bash your coffers and then just pass, or? Or yeah, buy a pro yeah. room. Yeah, that also seems good. I mean, that, that sounds bad, but I almost, I'd almost be tempted to buy a copper or two with, with it just to uh, make some coffers off the Merchant Guild, but I don't think that's the right play. Yeah. Um, just more junk in your deck that's going to interfere with finding the cards you want. Yeah, I learned the hard way you don't do that. <laughs> okay, so they go Catacomb. I think you got to put that in your hand, though, because you don't want to trigger a shuffle. Yeah, that's yeah, I think just do. playing the merchant guild there would have been better. Yeah, playing them yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. They just exile oh. one estate. Not sure how I feel about that. So there's just not a lot of really good options, but yeah, that does seem sad. Yeah, so they can clone the throne room and so they're gonna get to rat a, although I'm not sure if you wanna rat it. Probably just yeah, I suppose I actually do kind of like ratting it there, and then you would have to use a coffers, but it seems good to have that extra throne room in your deck. Yeah, although at this point, I think you know, just keeping keeping the coffers, giving their points lead. I think I think they're gonna be fine. Yeah. That's also true. Yeah, because CP just kind of needs to, like, maintain their lead for long enough to grab a couple provinces. Um, but yeah, that's you can it. just put that in your deck and take this one more province, does it? Yeah, all the curses really hurt JT here. Just have too much junk in their deck to line things up properly. Yeah, I like to. Are they too, I like to wrap. Too short of JT. Yeah, JT okay. just resigns. Yeah, that seems like a reasonable resign. Yeah, mercifully this game is over. That was a that was a grind. All right, so that's the first one for. CPSCH2. So now it's 2 1 J Truppiano heading into the final game. Yep. Um, so what's what have we got here? They have. So there's some nice. There's some nice. Even more going problems. Yeah, this is going to be interesting because there's. They have some nice draw, like, and lots of it. Yet there's no, uh, there's just no way to get plus action. So with no villages, like having like patrol and smithy and black cat on the on the board, it's it's going to be yeah. kind of rough. But is way of the goat your only trash in here? That's pretty sad too. Yeah. So I guess what I like here is I think you just. Take a bunch of covens, given, and then once they get the curse dump, it's just going to be pretty bad for their opponent. Like, these are going to be some pretty sluggish decks. Yeah. Tides and covens, yeah, but that is nice because you can. Yeah, that way you can. Do that. That's going to be pretty critical on this board with no real trash in there other than way of the goat. Yeah, like I like, I think I like that. Let's keep your money, Ira says. Yeah, I, I would consider, I would strongly consider a, a money strategy here, or even something just like Smithy money might be competitive with if you don't touch covens. I don't like you not, to do something real fast. I like, don't like not touching green. covens. Um, I want to get the curse dump on your opponents. I think I like opening like a guide monument. And then you use the monument to clean, and then grab some a bunch of covens. 
I don't know that the monument's really doing much for you on this board. Yeah, it's, it's kind of taking up a multiple terminal spot. It's something that you can go. Sure. Yeah, that's what yeah, I, I, mean, I definitely see the value of picking up a couple covens, but if you if you just don't touch the covens, um I think you can do you can you can I guess you got colonies on the board, so that makes it a little more complicated. But if you just do a money type strategy, I think you can get get pretty far into the green before the, the curses would get dumped on you. But yeah, it looks like the chat chat likes the covens as well. Yeah, and then so, I don't know. It's not, it's not real clear to me. You can go a lot of different ways. The groundskeepers are tough because, again, with the lack of good trashing, I mean, how, how many groundskeepers are you really even going to get to play the turn that you're greening? Yeah, I mean, like the groundskeepers, like they aren't. I mean, like what else do you? I guess once you get hit, get the curse dump, I think it might be fine. But I think here you want to get the curse dump pretty soon. Yeah, you can't skip. Oh, no. Yeah. The, the guides, yeah, the guides are important here, aren't they? Because they're going to let you, can let you find your key cards like Coven faster. And they'll also, when you do get jump, you can siphon through those hands quicker. Scavenger, yeah, you can. Yeah, I, I guess the scavenger. Yeah, the scavenger is probably better than the monument that I was thinking. Like that VP token is just not going to do much, and then scavenger is also helpful in that it can help cycle. Yeah, so I guess if you're going for covens, now's the time for CP. Um, it's tempting to go the scavenger to get rid of an estate, but I think given that you're hitting five here. Yeah, this is just this seems like one of those situations. Um, yeah, so they were forced to top deck a copper, which wasn't great, but yeah, it was, it's fine, really. Um, so JT goes the other route. They could have done the same thing, played the scavenger and bought a coven. Instead, they chose to trash. Yeah, I think you so, want to get the covens going. Yeah, I don't like the estate trashing either. I, I think the opportunity cost of playing the card is just too much to just for the one, yeah. one card trash. Because you're just going to be doomed once like the curse split happens. Yeah. Like you want to win the curse split and get your opponent their curse dump like ASAP on this board. Wait, that was a why didn't they call a guide there? They had three coppers and a scavenger in hand. Yeah, um they did call the Yeah, I don't like the guide call there. I think Were they I guess they're just trying to find the coven, but yeah, that seems really Yeah, bad. I kind of like just not doing that and then Buying another coven. Then JT is trashing here. It just seems too slow. Yeah. Goat is just very slow trashing. So you do it like you do it when it's just not an opportunity cost, but most of the time it is an opportunity cost. I guess. So yeah, this is nice. They get CP gets the top deck, the cub in there. Um, they take a gold, uh, so they are going for the money strategy. I think at this point in the game, I do like the covens more, give, especially when your opponent is going for a thin deck. Getting the curse dump on them will just slow them down yeah, a lot. One more coven. Oh, yeah, I agree. One more coven there would have been good. Yeah, this is it seems like the type of board where you just get ovens while you can. <laughs> oh, they they got a fourth coven, yeah. I just think, whoa. What did they oh JT did pick up a coven, okay. 
yeah, they picked it up on their last turn. Um, so yeah, they again, again, they, they trash a coffer with the opportunity cost of Coven. Um, don't like that. Uh, so, they, oh yeah, yeah, they looted their scavenger. Yeah, so this is a place where I do like the trashing the coffer because it's not an opportunity cost. Um, but wow. Yeah, so this is like like CP can get like three more curses. Right, or no, two sorry, two more curses dumped. So that's and grab a coven. So yes, I think CP is coming together nicely, winning the curse split five. Five to two, which is going to be like that. Doing that as player two, so that's pretty good for CP. Yeah, I just yeah, it seems like all this single card trashing for JT at the expense of playing a coven. I mean, it's just it's all going to come back to you when when these curses dump. All that work that you've done is going to come undone. Instead, you could have been giving your opponent the curses. Yeah. Well, let's see. They did, I guess they did finally get two covens, so they're going to... Oh, they gave them four. Interesting. I didn't realize. I thought the, I thought the discard was... Uh, or I thought the split was going to be a lot worse for JT, but yeah, 6-4 is not bad. Yeah. Um, maybe they can survive this. Yeah, because I guess I... They probably, but I feel like they they might have been able to win it, but yeah, this is not turning out as bad as I thought it would. I'm not sure what I think of the control from CP last turn. That's going to be tough to not draw a bunch of covens yet with that when you play that patrol. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think you go for any draw here. Um, like once the curse after the curse dump, which is the stage in the game you're at, we're at. I think you just go for like groundskeeper money and then get colonies, or maybe even forget the groundskeeper. But you just want. I think no plus buys here. You just want to get. You just want to build up to a consistent colony. Yeah, I don't know that you'll ever be able to consistently call it, but yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. I think JT has the option, given how thin they are, once the curse is done, once they start trashing some curses, they could certainly go, uh, they could certainly go after the groundskeepers. I don't think it's a, as viable for CP, because they just, their deck is no sticker. Yeah, so the question here for JT is, do you trash the copper and gain a gold, or do you keep the just play the scavenger normally and take the platinum. Probably the platinum. Yeah, I think the platinum's good good for JT's deck. Yeah, we'll see what they think about this. But like either way seems fine for their deck really. So if they let's see if they go and they have six. Yeah, they have six, or they can not go, and they have nine. So yeah, they choose to go. So yeah, they're just gonna take a gold. Um, that seems like a fine option because they are a bit thinner, um, cause especially like on money. Yeah, I mean, I think I prefer the platinum, but I guess it's okay. Yeah, and Iris, I'm not so sure that you can skip covens because you're. You want your opponent to get the curse to dump because if you're swimming in ten curses, then your deck just won't be that good. Uh, I assume they're going to play this guide as a goat. No reason to hit six, I don't think. I guess they could take another gold. Yeah, I do like. But yeah, I don't this want is to fine. Shuffle yet either. You'd rather get these cards in play mixed in with all those curses. Yeah, that's also true. Um, 
Yeah, I think I agree with with Boyo. It's for JT. It's pull up a couple of groundskeepers of platinum and start greening and trashing curses along the way as it's as it's convenient. Yeah, I yeah, that seems like a fine strategy to me. Um, I guess CP could colony here, right? They're getting they got nine money in hand if they play all this. Yeah, they have. Although for for CP, I do like um. Like, like, yeah, goading the scavenger um, and just taking a, a platinum. Um, We're doing one more platinum? Yeah, that seems, that seems fine. They're going groundskeeper. I did not expect that. Yeah, I don't like that. I think you just take your second platinum there. Yeah, I think the groundskeepers are going to be better for JT, given their thinner deck. Yeah, for JT is good. Yeah, but I think C C CP just wants to thin. Yeah, I don't think I like the gold there. I think I'd have just taken another groundskeeper. Yeah, like JT is just thinning and is close to the point where you can, where it's like they will be like getting the good cards in most hands. Start needing these guys, aren't they? Yeah. So, yeah. So, you're playing the patrol here? To trigger yeah. The I feel like triggering that shuffle mm -hmm. seems fine. Um. And I think I preferred the gold over groundskeeper. Their deck is just too thick. Uh, so yeah, JT takes their platinum. Uh, that's definitely going to be a good addition to their deck. So I guess, I mean, you could trash the estate and then you take a gold. Um, yeah, this I didn't wasn't a fan of this patrol because oh boy, look at all those cards you would draw. Yeah. Oh no, that's, that's the top deck. Yeah. yeah, I think they actually got pretty lucky there with that draw. Yeah, that was a that was a good draw, I guess. So here, probably they just, just one, they just have the one platinum. I think I would take a second platinum here, maybe. Yeah, take a second platinum, grab a coffers. That seems like the best option. So they're gonna go the scavenger. Oh, a second. Platinum for JT seems real nice too. Yeah. Um. Go ahead and trash this curse. Yeah, trash the curse. Um. Yes, they're going to take a groundskeeper here. Yeah, groundskeeper. Yeah, I think could have gone. Yeah, groundskeeper does seem better than gold. Um, so now CP is just. Yeah, so as. So JT, I guess you just play the guide and then possibly you just call this a dud and. Get the guy down and trash your curse. Yeah, I think I like that. So they do play the groundskeeper normally and then like go to the coven. That's also fine, although I would have preferred to just go to the, the groundskeeper. Yeah, I guess it helped them get to the bottom of their deck. But if they knew they had another action card coming up, I guess it's fine. Mm. So again, here with CP, if you know you got an action card down there, I guess you drive and then trash, but if you don't know what that card is, I think you just have to go with this groundskeeper. Yeah, I don't know and what that card I is. Have, I have a guide here, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what that card is. 
Yeah, I think as some, not knowing what that card is, I'd say probably just a trash a curse. Yeah, and I agree with uh, Moko's sentiment here. I think it's just taking too long for, yeah, Black Cat. Uh, I guess that, well, I don't know, what is the Black Cat really doing for you here, though? Checking um, out any curses at this point. They must be trying to think about that last card. Is what they do? Or they just called their guide. Okay. Yeah. Um. Seems okay, I guess. Um. Not a huge fan of it, though. Yeah, I think. I don't know a CP. I, I think I would have just skipped the groundskeepers and gone for. Money and greed quicker. I, they're just giving JT too much time to crash their six curses, and, and they're just gonna. JT's just gonna have such a strong deck here pretty soon that it's gonna be hard for CP to compete with it. Yeah. Uh, so CP. Um, so yeah, they get they hit ten here. So I guess just. In, I don't know if you can. Nice it was a real nice control. Yeah, so I don't know if you can safely take the platinum or if you just go for province. Yeah, they take the platinum. Probably the right option. Yeah, I mean, there's still six colonies and eight provinces left, so. Um, I wish they would have done that over the first colony uh, for their bet, but I think their deck would just be that much better. Yeah, I agree with that. So yeah, for JT, I'd say just another gold here. Yeah, turn 20. <laughs> this is quite the sluggy game here. So seven, nine, yeah. so they can call it a year. Yeah, I'd say, you, yeah, colony seems fine. In play, that's the clear, um, I think here. you do discard your deck. Um, I think so. You got a lot of good cards out Yeah, there. and then, yeah, top deck for platinum. Oh, at this point, you just, yeah, you want money. That was a nice turn for them. Yeah, certainly. They're going to be able to hit Colony again, it looks like. Yeah. As well, JT here after guiding away that hand. Yeah, so I think you, I think I prefer to trash the copper there and look like by goading the groundskeeper. But I guess the groundskeeper's still in play, right? So you still get the. Yeah, and like they, they had an extra coin. Oh. Um, oh, hitting 11 again, exactly. Yep. So. This is interesting. This is definitely an interesting end game. Um, I guess these groundskeepers are paying off for CP. Yeah. These game sectors would yeah. be able to know that yeah. they seem to keep, keep coming to the top of their shuffle. Yeah, I think these, assuming they can keep it up, these groundskeepers will likely be what makes CP win. They do have one card. Yeah, I think it has JT. Just what did they buy there? They bought Providence. Yeah, I think that's actually the right the move. Colony? They had because they need, the token, they need to because CP is just ahead here and has a point speed, so they need to. They can't let CP get. Too. So if they take a colony, that it makes sense to not want to lower them. Yeah, I guess it benefits more as the game drags on. So they got 11 exactly here with the copper, right? Yeah, so yeah, you, I think as CP, you just want to empty the economies. Yeah, you just keep ruining a CP and holding on your lead. Especially when you keep getting these scavengers and groundskeepers at the top of your deck. They seem like they're getting really nice shuffles and really nice draw. Yeah, so as JT, I guess you have to take another province. I don't like leaving, you can't leave the colonies at one. I at least, 
not. Yeah, although it's hard for me to see them winning this game without taking one of the last two colonies. But I guess if they did, they would be losing here. I think they're losing either way, especially <laughs> these shuffles are just incredible. Yeah, yeah. It's you get not... that scavenger and groundskeeper on top. Yeah, that's a good game. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. Despite the comeback, I see P. SCH2 to knot it up at two games apiece. Yeah, so, yep, that's been, yeah, that's a, quite a comeback. Um, yeah, so thanks, thanks for coming. Thanks, enjoyed, enjoyed commentating for you, with yep. you, and um, it's good games, Yeah, you. Um, yeah, this has been great commentating with you. Um, yeah. Very good, well, we'll see you next time. Yep, bye.